global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. They may not be on the same page in a lot of things, but definitely the former president of Nigeria, Chief Olusho Obasanjo, cannot hide the truth, especially when it comes to the fact that Nigerians are going through a lot. As he has decided to call out the sitting president, Bola Metunubu, over a lot of issues and um, the fact that Nigerians are going through a lot. Let's quickly run through the news to find out what it is he's telling. Uh, President Bola Metinubu that is sparking reactions on social media right now. Now, according to the news, the former president, Chief Olusha Obasanjo, has described President Bola Tinubu's policies on forced subsidy removal and exchange rates as necessary but wrongly implemented. Now, Obasanjo's position is coming as Tinubu's government rolled out activities marking his one year anniversary. Now, the author, farmer, zeroed in on three decisions of the administration which included fuel subsidy, exchange rates, and the dealing with military coup in Niger Repub Republic. Now his media aide, uh, the person of KD Akinyemi, in a statement issued in Abiyokuta on Sunday, uh, quoted Oba Sonjo to have spoken at the Colosseum, uh, Nigerian's development navigating the way out of the current economic crisis and insecurity delivered at Paul Ajay uh, in Abuja. Now, he lashed out at Tinubu's government, saying the present administration has not found the right way to handle the economy to engender confidence and trust for investors to start trooping in. Obasanjo said, today, the government has taken three decisions, two of which are necessary but wrongly implemented and have led to improvision of the economy and of Nigerians. These are removal of subsidy, closing the gap between black markets and official rates of exchange, and the third is dealing with the, a military coup in the Nigerian Republic. The way forward is production and productivity, which Belief and trust in government leadership will engender no shortcut to economic progress, but hard work and sweat. To him, economy does not obey orders, not even military orders. I know that. If we get it right in two years, we will begin to see the right and the light beyond the tunnel. It requires a change of characteristics, attributes and attitude by the leadership at all levels to gain the confidence and trust of investors who have alternatives. He further said that total energy has gone and they've actually gone to invest six billion US dollars in Angola instead of Nigeria. If the truth must be stated, the present administration has not found the right way to handle the economy to engender confidence and trust for investors to start trooping in. To conclude on the economy, Tinkering with the exchange rate is not the answer. The answer is consistency and continuity in policy to ensure stability and predictability. That way, we will be sure of incentivizing domestic and foreign investment. There must be honesty and transparency in government dealings and contracts and not lie with deception about these issues. When the government is seen as pursuing the right policy, the private sector will go for production and productivity. Those are the fine words of uh, Chief Olusha Gwobasanjo, uh, even if you do not like uh, the fact that it's seen the way it is. Uh, but it's to let us
global happenings today. We call it a case.